Sakshat
Bajarangi Hanuma Shri Rama Jaya Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Shri Rama Jaya Rama Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Shri Rama Jai Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Shri Rama Jaya Rama Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Bajarangi Hanuman Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Rama Shri Rama Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai 
Hey friends, <sighs> happy Friday, Friday in the apocalypse. Um, I say that because, well, those of us in Northern California and the Bay Area know what I'm talking about, but um, what incredibly tumultuous times we have as we're still sitting in the heart of the pandemic, our temperatures are going over 100 degrees and the wildfires are burning everywhere around us and uh, this, the air is filled with smoke so we need to close the windows and um, I'm not complaining but I'm a little freaked out. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I wasn't planning on at all on spending such a long time with that opening song. But I was, I had heard something, something, someone said something that said, give your problems to God. Give your concerns to God. And I, I'm not quite able to 
do that. But I was able for a moment to say to my guru, not take my problems, but I'm yours, so my problems are yours. So you take care of them. Um, and so the song kept singing itself. Actually, Nubia, who's right here behind the camera as ever, she asked me yesterday, the day before, she said, why don't you sing Bajirangi Hanuma? I didn't answer yes or no, but it just came. So, well, it made my heart feel a little bit better, and I really, truly, truly hope that it, that it makes your hearts feel better, too, that all the songs that I sing, that we all sing, um, heals not just our own hearts, but those around us and even those far away from us. I don't know how that happens, but I know it. I know it happens. So I'm going to switch from harmonium to guitar. And sing a song that I wrote quite a quite a few years ago. It was on my second album, which is called Monkey. Probably most of you, well, I don't know, some of you have been with me for years and years and years. But any of, of my newer, like in the past 20 years, friends and fans probably have never heard this song. So I'll share it with you now. Today we got sweet southern style iced tea. A lot of mint, a lot of lime. You know, I know ice is not good for singing, but sometimes you just gotta go for it. Let me check my tuning. Sometimes I've wondered if my heart will harden, shattered by the clouds that hide the sun. A moment or a lifetime waiting in your garden. Distance, and I feel like crying out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All oh, the rain, you know it falls behind you. All the rivers run until they reach your door. Hey. All my love, touch me now. I won't ask for more. I won't ask for more.
fires that kept me warm Now they're ashes in the wind Nothing in this world left but turning Your eyes against the morning sky whisper Now we can begin Oh, 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 I feel like crying out. Whoa, 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 all the rain, you know it falls behind you. All the rivers run until they reach your door. Oh, my love, touch me now. I won't ask for more. I won't ask for more. Let's sing to Radha and Krishna. Keshava Madhava Manohara. Keshava, he who has the long black hair. Madhava, he who is sweeter than honey. Manohara, he who steals and enchants the hearts. That's all Krishna. And then Sri Radhe, his beloved. Gopala, Krishna as a boy.
dava, ma dava, ma non para, girare, Rade, 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 sham. So you know that we're committed to doing this every Friday. Sometimes we may have 12 people. Sometimes we, we may have 120 people. Um, but we're not hyper-advertising it. It's just our, our invitation to you to join us, Nubia and I. You can't see Nubia. She's so beautiful, though. I have the best view. Um, in our mystic living room. It's really our upstairs. It's kind of like our office attic altar. But um, I do want to mention that our Kirtan Camp Level 1 is, you know, the second incarnation, I guess you could say, is starting again on September 16th. So please check my website if, if that's a, at all interesting. And Level 2 will start around Thanksgiving time in November. Uh, the song I just sung, Madhava, is from my album, Roots Rock, excuse me, Roots Rock Rama, the double album. It's a dinosaur. Um, the music isn't a dinosaur, but I guess the, the concept of a double CD is a dinosaur. But, you know, we all love dinosaurs, don't we? I mean, where did they go? So, anyway. I love that album, and, and that's where that song is from. This song um, is from my album, um, Beggars and Saints. Nubia, did you look up? You wanted to say something? No. Um, banjo was, as some of you know, was my first love. My first, I, I played piano. I studied piano. Um, from when I was six, I guess, and, and just hated it, you know, just hated music and just, oh, God. But then a friend turned me on to the banjo. And just strumming it, just just like this. Ah, gave me, you know, the first glimmer of peace. So here's a song I wrote uh, in, kind of in the tradition of, of the old-timey Appalachian Banjo Ballads.
conductor, conductor, please don't treat me wrong. I've been waiting on this train for so long. Got my ticket in my hands, and I'm ready for it to go to my home in the hills. Take me back. When I was a young boy, I knew right from wrong. Somewhere across the years, I lost my way. The mistakes that I made, the people that I hurt, Lord, I know when my time will come to pay. To my home in the hills, why did I run? I'm in at the station, hear the whistle blow, smoke's burning red in my eyes. My life is behind me, death is up ahead, and I pray that you let me pass on by. To my home in the hills, why did I run to my home? I'm ready for to go to my home in the hills. Take me back to my home in the hills. Why did I run to my home in the hills? Take me back to my home in the hills. Why did I run to my home in the hills? Take me back. Take me back. Well, what, we sh what should we do next? What should we do next? I think I know. <coughs> so. 
I need to put on a capo. Hey, before I do this, I, I, I want to know if you have all, or if any of you have heard of Alam Khan, the son of my music guru, Ali Akbar Khan. Uh, he's local to us, and, and he is not only a brilliant musician, he's, you know, uh, like his father, every note that he plays is filled with the churning river of emotions. And, you know, I, I used to teach Alam electric guitar when he was 11, and that was such a joy to me, not because of teaching an 11-year-old, but because I got to... Uh, really be part of their family and go to their home and hang out a lot. But um, Alam just released an album called Solace. Uh, it's ragas, it's Indian classical music, but um, not but. Uh, a lot. With uh, the, the intention of, of soothing, calming, and healing. No drums, no percussion. Just what's called a lap. It's a, that uh, meandering in the the ocean of melody. So I just want to give a heads up to, to all of them and to his family. So I want to do what I've, what I've been calling the campfire Sri Ram. Shri Ram, Shri Ram, Shri Ram, 
जय राम जय जय राम Jai Ram, 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 J
that Ali Akbar Khan once said in class that, that um, really struck me and really stayed with me. You know, usually he, as he would teach a lesson, teach a song, he would um, have the group sing back to him, uh, you know, all together. And every once in a while he would ask the group to individually sing. And that was always a terrifying experience. He, even though he was so loving, his presence was also somewhat intimidating. So, this particular day, he, you know, he asked this person, that person, that person, and then he, oh, sorry, I got the burps today. The, then he asked uh, this Indian man who was sitting next to me to sing the song, and, and, and generally the Indian students seem to get the phrasing better than the Western students, it's, you know, in their DNA. So this guy started singing a song, and it was full voice, and I thought it was so beautiful. He really had it. And Kansab just stopped him and stopped him and said, No, too strong. God don't like strong. And then he said, If you sing so strong, God don't think you need his help. God don't like strong. And, you know, when I first started singing, I had so much, so much insecurity about singing and about myself, you know, which I must say still lingers, but not in that debilitating way. So I, I, I trained myself to sing as loud and as strong as possible so that nobody could see how weak and vulnerable I actually was, slash am. <laughs> um, and it was, you know, I would say it served me. It got me out of my shell. But it was years later that I am, am beginning to explore and learn how to sing soft and remembering what Kansab said that day, you know, when we can sing from our most authentic and vulnerable place, that's just the best. That's just the most moving. And very often I find myself overcompensating in my singing, you know, feeling like I have to sing stronger or else I'm gonna fall apart or something like that or else everybody's gonna really see me. But lately I've been challenging that that um, position and trying to sing softer and softer and softer. So I recommend that. I actually recommend singing soft and singing loud because there's, there's a joy to singing loud that, you know, it's just it's, you can't beat it.
Let's sing a song that is also on Root Chak Rama, and it's called Echoes of Mercy, or Echo of Mercy, actually. And the, the mantra is Om Namo Narayanaya. Narayan is a form of Vishnu, he who sleeps on the infinite oceans, he who floats on the infinite oceans. I also have heard, and I like this um, idea that it means the indweller, he who, who sits or reclines inside the ocean of the heart. So Om Namo means Om I bow to, I offer myself unto Narayanaya, unto Narayan, the Lord who rests in the ocean of our hearts.
Ask um, the participants to tell their friends about Friday. Oh yeah, maybe I just mentioned that you might have heard of spread the word about about the Friday evenings. Um, I think the the community that has grown around the Friday evenings is really beautiful, and I feel really, you know, just so. For me, it's it. You know, even though the technology is stressful and stuff, still, it, for me, it's very, very healing every Friday. Challenging and healing. And I just would love it if you guys would spread the word. I want, I, there was something that I also wanted to share that I haven't. I shared it, uh, like, in the first couple of Fridays concerts that we did. But, you know, in this time of... of no gigs you know we don't have any gigs till ever we have some online gigs scheduled but i don't have a a, a concert scheduled there's nothing in the books at all so you know we're, we're hanging in and and it's, it's been okay but i want to uh, ask you if you feel like it to check out my patreon page which is Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com slash Jayutal. And I want you to check out, if you feel like it, Nubia's Patreon page, which is P A T R E O N dot com slash Nubia Devotional Yoga. And Patreon is a great way for you all to help support us and for us to share different and deep things with you that we don't normally share with everyone. Nubia's is more, is more um, it's really focused on different levels of, of teachings and uh, both yoga and um, mantra and uh, meditations and this is very, very beautiful. Mine is a little bit more casual, just sort of the way I am and I, and I just put offerings onto the Patreon world that I don't put other places, or maybe weeks before I put other places. So that was just something I wanted to mention because I hadn't mentioned it in quite a while. This is me trying to remember a raga. <laughs> oh man.
I'm gonna sing this to, to my my spiritual mother, Siddhima, to the Divine Mother, to Mother Earth, and to all all mothers, to the mother of my son, asking for blessings to be able to walk a path of benevolence of truth and a path of service and love. Jaya 
जगतमे दुर्गे 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 जय जगतम जगतंबे हे मा दुर्गा 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 जय जगतंबे
जय 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 जगदे दुर्गे दुर्गे के दुर्गे जय जगदे दुर्गे दुर्गे Jaya Jagadambe Hema Durga 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 Jaya Jagadambe I want to thank you all so, so much for joining us this Friday. When I say us, I'm, well, I'm on one hand referring to all of us. Another, I'm referring to myself and to Nubia and to our dear Ratika over in the Boston area who supports our whole technical, technological, as well as our spiritual friend. Um, she supports all of the stuff that we do, most of the stuff that we do online. So, extend a thank you to Ratika and once again, Nubia, everything behind the scenes from bringing me tea when she hears my voice getting cracky to setting up the microphones, the computers and monitoring and well, everything else that she does big, big thanks. And right now our son is rehearsing with his rock band. They are just thriving. It's, it's really awesome. And school started remote, of course, and, and life goes on. So I hope to see you all next Friday. I, I guess I should say, I hope to feel you all next Friday because I don't actually see you. But um, I hope we can gather together again. And, and as maybe I suggested before, please, please spread the word. Tell, tell your friends and your acquaintances. And we'll get a big, big gathering going. 
And that's it. Love to you all. Namaste.